Good morning. It is fucking trains. It is 4:45 in the morning, super early European early summer sunrise, and this video is a bit of a behind the scenes look into an assignment for a freelance videographer and photographer. And all starts right now. Let's go. I know most of you watching this love geography as much as I do, so I'm gonna give you two seconds right now to guess what river this is. It's the River Rhine, and if you got it right, let me know in the comments below. This little mini jetty here is not really working out as well as I thought. It's a uh, beautiful angle on the main hotel, which is the, uh, the client that's hired me to come out here and take some photos, but it's just slightly moving. Oh, come back, like the gimbal, which is annoying. So I'm not, getting a, I'm not getting a super sharp image. I mean, it looks fine on the back of the screen, but when you zoom into 100%, it's not as sharp as I know this lens can get. So we're gonna come back up onto this piece of land and uh, hopefully get a very similar angle in our first shot. Alright, and I think that we got some really nice light here this morning. So it is like about 6 a.m. now and of course I'm the only one here down at the river on this like uh, little jetty I guess and it was nice to get the drone back in the air. It's been a while since I've been able to fly and uh, I wanted to get a little bit of video and drone content for this hotel. Look at the decks. Daggers! Ducks stick together, right? Yeah! So let's see it. Show me the flying V. Alright! So yeah, anyway, it's uh, that was a win in my book for sure. I uh, wanted to get up and at least get a little bit of, uh, of morning glow on those clouds. The sun actually hasn't even like hit the other side of the river yet. I think it's about to rise over that bank of uh, the last clouds. But we did get some really nice glow here this morning, which is always good for photography as you guys know, being mostly landscape photographers who watch this channel, and I know who you are. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now. I'm not gonna do the YouTube thing, but it's uh, it's really nice to get that light. So I think I got a couple of, uh, of good, like blendable images. I was shooting uh, multiple different exposures to try and be able to just blend in the sky and uh, lift the shadows of the hotel, which is the client that's paying me to be here. I'm gonna take you on a bit of a journey in this video through a behind the scenes look at what it's like to work as a freelance photographer and videographer in the travel industry primarily. But as you know, the pandemic has rocked the travel industry. And this is one of the first jobs that I've had coming back in quite a while since last uh, September in Chamonix. So luckily I've found other work in Hamburg with Nelly where, where we're living. And I've got a job with an advertising agency as a cutter and working with them part-time. And then of course the YouTube thing, but uh, this is, a welcome uh, opportunity and I hope one that will continue with other hotel clients and tourism clients uh, throughout the next few months. This is our first location of the day up on the third floor of the hotel and what is one of the sweet rooms with this incredible balcony that looks over the Rhine and across the river. And you may know that this region is really famous for white wine and actually Koblenz itself has a pretty incredible history dating back over 2000 years, which is just absolutely incredible. And I think one of the main reasons is because it is on this main vein thoroughfare of the Rhine River, which was a uh, an absolute transportation hub way 
way back in the day all the way up until present day even there's still lots of boats that are going up and down the river uh, all morning so what I've got is a uh, very staged shot on this little uh, balcony table and I've got the uh, the white wine and a coffee and some flowers and essentially just doing uh, blended shots of focus stacked of about three images to make sure that I've got the foreground nice and sharp and then also the background because these beautiful uh, government buildings across the way are absolutely stunning and it just shows a really nice scene for how somebody can be up here sort of relaxing taking in the river vibes and just uh, experiencing this beautiful part of uh, Germany and the Rhine. bit of a photography tip for you guys here when it comes to uh, freelance photography and working uh, you want to review your images just like in a studio where you'd be shooting like directly into a computer and into a software where you can look at you know your sharpness and your exposure and all that stuff right away it's important to do the same thing uh, as a freelancer and in this case in travel and tourism I've got the possibility to come into this like, office and review my images to make sure that the processes that I'm doing in each individual hotel room is working and that when I go to edit those photos in like the batch process probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow it'll all be in sequence and I can just go ahead and smash it out one after the other but if I don't do this process and then I get into my editing suite tomorrow where I've spent this whole day taking photos and then like something's a little off or the exposures aren't blending the way that I want them to, you know, I'm just creating more work for myself. So being able to review your images, make copies of them, during the shoot is really, really nice. Now I know a lot of you watching this are mostly landscape photographers and obviously it's difficult to have our computer and a hard drive and this whole setup out in the field. But in this case, and like with sports and product and uh, different like industrial photo shoots, it is possible to have a laptop nearby so you can upload and check your images immediately as you're doing it, especially with sports. It's really important that uh, those sport photographers then get those images out to the world, to all those different media agencies to see if they can get picked up and then published. So in my case here, I've only got the one day to shoot this hotel in Koblenz because you guys know that Nelly is 38 weeks pregnant. So I want to get back to Hamburg as soon as possible, but I do have at least enough time and both of us feel comfortable with me coming down here to, uh, to complete this job. But I've got this one full day to, uh, to cover all of the shot list that the client has prepared for me. So the best way that I can do that is get a couple of these test images of what I want to be doing in each individual room and then uh, look at them see what they're looking like and if uh, they work to what I envision them to look like then I'm on the right you know track and I can go about just smashing out every room one after the other after the other and then tomorrow or the next day when I actually sit down to edit these photos I know that they are all going to be absolutely perfect so that I can provide the best final result for the client as possible so that's what I'm gonna do right now And that's it for the rooms and now it is time for some food because I am hungry it's lunchtime but before we get stuck into some good feed I wanted to talk 
briefly about freelance photography work in 2021 because for this guy in Hamburg in Germany as an Auslander it is definitely a hustle but as it's been for the five years running my business six years now actually uh, always a hustle so I think that if you're looking to uh, get into freelance photography or if you're already doing a couple jobs here and there know that it doesn't get any easier <laughs> now I think ideally it'd be really nice to have like an agency that kind of represents you and in fact that is kind of the case for this job so there's an uh, online digital marketing agency called on Mari here in Germany and the owner Dominic I met him a couple of years ago and he always is looking for photographers and videographers to create content for his clients and a lot of his clients are hotels spread out throughout Germany Austria and Switzerland so I linked up with him a couple of years ago and we've done at least like two or three projects per year since then and this is the first one of 2021 so he's a very good contact for me to have because he basically reaches out and says hey Greg I've got a potential job for you you know are you free on these dates this is what the client needs can you uh, provide a quote so that is uh, is definitely a tip for freelancing try and network with other people that could use your services and sell those services to their clients and yeah they're probably gonna take a small commission off that but that's totally fine if they're the ones hustling and doing the work for you but uh, 2021 is it's been tough obviously I mean the travel industry has been rocked events has been totally rocked hospitality has been rocked like there's a lot of uh, of industries that are suffering and freelance photographers typically would work within these industries as well so everything's gonna rebound slowly but surely but that's just a bit of my insight into it's a hustle but you can network and connect with people that can make it easier for you So we've gone on a bit of a shooting frenzy bonanza. I've been snap happy today trying to get as much content as possible because I haven't really mentioned too much about the actual client, but this is the Deals Hotel, which is in uh, Koblenz. And they have been in business as a hotel restaurant for over a hundred years. It's a family owned and operated restaurant. I think they're into like their fourth generation of uh, family management. And Niels is the, uh, the new owner and he's relatively young. He's only a couple of years older than me. And I know most of you guys know how old I am, but I'm not gonna tell you right now, but still very cool guy, uh, speaks great English. He's lived abroad for a few years. He's got a lot of experience with food and beverage. So he wants to kind of revamp the hotel. And uh, that's why he was working with with the, uh, the marketing agency and the online marketing, um, Dominic, who uh, is kind of like the agent for me, and he needed a ton of new content. So that's where I come in as the photographer and video producer. So I've been trying to cover as much ground as possible
possible. We've got an initial agreement, but when I came here, I saw what he needed and I was like, okay, we need to, you know, we need to hit the, the ground running. So we've been able to cover a lot uh, within that agreement, which is really nice for both of us. And uh, he's gonna get all that content that he needs, which is cool. So today's been hectic and it's not over yet. We're still gonna shoot some more. So I hope I still got your attention on this one, but this is a real life look at the behind the scenes of what it is like to be on assignment as a freelance photographer, at least within the travel industry. So if you, that's something that you're into or you're interested in, then I hope that you've been enjoying this video so far. This is a photo of the hotel that I mentioned earlier, which we are currently in, which has been here for over a hundred years, which for this Canadian is pretty incredible. And uh, just such a, a unique history to this whole area of the Rhine River Valley in Germany. And it feels so good to be back to work as a freelance photographer here in the travel and tourism industry. So I want to know your thoughts on uh, the advice or the opinions that I've given about working as a freelance photographer in 2021 in the comments below. So let me know what you think and uh, as for me I mean, this is a hustle and I'm back at it which is really nice but also at the same time our lives are completely changing with the baby on the way and me working with an advertising agency in Hamburg as well so I feel like I'm kind of juggling these two different lifestyles and then once Brendan and I get back to running the adventure tours tour things are, uh, are gonna be a jumble of interesting so I hope you're along for the ride here on the channel as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video